hi everybody welcome to our channel thank you so much for your time and effort watching subscribing liking and sharing our vlog we want to let you know that we appreciate all of it and all of you thank you so much and today please join me as i discuss the difference and the advantages and disadvantages of a stay-in caregiver and a stay-out caregiver Thank you for joining me today and I hope you watch my video until the end so that I just want to give you an insight about how it is to live as a stay-in or a stay-out caregiver what are the lifestyle and what will happen if you decide to be a stay-in or a stay-out caregiver so yeah today it's just me I'm just walking in the park near our house so it's supposed to be my me time, but I, I decided to do a vlog anyway. So yeah, samahan niyo po ako ngayon sa aking topic. And I hope that you will learn something from me today. And I hope that I help you by giving you knowledge about my topic. So nowadays it's really getting colder and when I woke up this morning it's 10 degrees and right now I don't know but it's still cold and as you can see the leaves are there the leaves the color of the leaves are changing because it's almost almost fall so yeah this is where I am it's like it's like a forest I'm like in a trail but this is just a park near our house may dumaan pong tao so medyo nakaka-conscious pag may dumadaan and nakikita ko mag-isa nagsasalita so yeah and there's another one but anyway going back going back to our topic um first I wanna discuss to you the difference of a stay-in and a stay-out caregiver so for a stay-in caregiver you are going to stay in the residence of your employer so let's say you're taking care of a child you will live in the house together with the whole family and the child that you are taking care of and if you are taking care of an elderly sometimes or most of the times the elderly lives alone so it's just you and the elderly sometimes the elderly stay in a retirement home so you also have to stay in that in their place at the retirement home usually there are two rooms in the retirement home so yeah and for the stay out caregiver you're gonna live by your own you have your own apartment you have your own place you just go to the residence of your employer when it's time for you to work and then you go home after your work is done so that's just the difference of a stay in and a stay out caregiver so next is the advantages and disadvantages of a stay in and stay out caregiver first we will start um, at the stay in caregiver well if you are a stay in caregiver as i have mentioned you will be staying in your employer's house so the advantage that you can experience is that since you are living in your employer's house you won't have to pay your rent because it is stated in the contract that if you will live in the employer's house you need to be provided uh, by your employer with your own room with your own place at no cost so libre 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 so it's a it's a great way for you to save because you don't have to pay for your monthly rent and the monthly rent where I'm, I am now is really expensive especially in Toronto if you stay in Toronto if you were to rent a room uh, one room will cost you about it, and it depends on the location so the range will be 600 to 900 so yeah it depends on the uh, location and also apart from free rental you will have uh, your meals your foods should be shouldered by your by your employer and it is stated in the page 7 of your contract so later I'm gonna show you what 
uh, what is in the contract that your uh, your employer will provide you and will be signed by your employer and you so you will have so you will have an idea what it is written there and yeah another advantages for a staying caregiver is that um, you won't have to worry about your fare your uh, everyday fare if you have to commute let's say if you are stay out you have to commute going to your employer and you don't have to worry about your your uh, everyday fare and what else yeah okay so since you'll be provided with your own room you need you will be provided also with your private bathroom and most of all the nicest part is if your employer has internet you will avail the free internet so you don't have to pay pay extra bill for your internet so so for starters for for newcomers this there is a lot of advantages because um, you will just start working you don't have much money yet so there's a lot of uh, room for you to save so because you're not paying any rent you don't have to buy your food or what else and you don't have to commute every day you don't have to pay your your fare so yeah, there's a lot of savings. You can save more and you can send more to your children uh, way back home or your families. Yeah, so yung po ang kagandahan pag mag in kayo sa employer nyo. Kung may advantages naman po, there is disadvantage in being a stay-in caregiver. So I'll give you a scenario. It's about my experience. I took care of an elderly and my work is supposed to be 9 to 6 p.m. and then I stay in I was a stay in caregiver so my work is not finished until 6 p.m. because since I am staying in I have to wait for the elderly to go to bed because my priority is his safety so even though I wanted to uh, rest already at 6 p.m. go to my room and have uh, my me time and call it a day I can't because I have to wait for my uh, for the elderly to go to bed sometimes he goes to bed at 8 30 or 9 that's the latest so yeah that's one of the disadvantages it feels like it feels like you're still working even though you're done working because you're you're there at the residence about it's not 24 7 I work five days a week so 24 hours 24 5 yeah so it feels like I'm still working until night but but it's okay for sorry but it's okay for me there's no problem a problem about it you, I just had to uh, I just have to make an agreement with my employer since I am up until 9 p.m. So my employer just gave me some compensation. So yeah, it's really important for the employer and the employee to uh, voice out each other's um, concerns and opinions. So everything is uh, fair between you two. So there's no problem for me about it. I'm just saying about the disadvantage if you will be a staying caregiver because not everybody not everybody will like that kind of setting wherein your work is until 6 p.m. and you're still up you're still up until later than 6 p.m. so you still feel like you're working so yeah let's talk about the stay-in caregiver first the advantage of a stay-in caregiver is that you will have your own place you will have your independence and if let's say you're working from 8 to 5 by 5 p.m you'll be free you can go home you can go to your own place so yung pong kagandahan pag stay out kayo you don't have to worry like like me at night if you're taking care of an elderly you don't have to worry that you will wake up late at night because you need to help you need to help them or you don't have to stay later most of the time because you have to wait for the elderly to sleep yeah that's that's the beauty of stay out caregiver after a day's work you can go out you can go anywhere you want you can relax 
you can even go to the mall if you want to because you are you are free and independent to go wherever you want to go but yeah so that's the advantage that i can think of as a as a stay out but for the disadvantages if you are a newcomer and you need to have your own place you need to have your own room you have to pay your monthly rent you have to pay your um food but if a caregiver will have to stay out sorry stay out of the residence residence house the employer must pay the fare the everyday fare for for her it is stated in page 8 of the contract so after this at the end of the video i will show you what is inside the what is in the contract so yeah i hope you still stay with me and um, okay so anyway yeah, if you were to stay out, you have to pay your monthly rent, your monthly internet, your your food, your meals, and it's it's costly, but it works for some people. If you think you will be more progressive if you stay out as a caregiver, if you think it will it will be better for you because of course, you don't want to stay stay in the house of your employer almost 24/7 then yeah then go ahead you can choose whatever you whatever fits whatever fits you whatever is more beneficial for you and as i have mentioned too if it is the need of the employer that you will be working then yeah you just need to have an agreement you have you just need to talk to your employer um, employers here are mostly considerate and they will listen and they follow the laws so hello this is the page where I get the contract for the caregiver so the contract that I'm talking to you about is the old contract that I had is this one so this is um, the contract with when you will be um, issuing an LMIA so this is where the um, this is the page 7 that I told you about the accommodation where in the employee resides in the employer's home the employer agrees to provide employee with meals where applicable in an adequate properly heated and ventilated room at no cost so your rent is free as i have mentioned and so if you will be staying in or living in the residence of your employer and so now this is the new one for the new pilot caregiver so in your offer of employment there is already a contract here so for the first page you will choose if you are either a home child care provider or a home support worker and you will indicate and the employer will indicate your their employer information and your information the employer should be filling this out and give it give this to you and if and here in section 5 if you were to live in or stay in the your employer's house or stay out you will indicate here if you will be staying in or you will have your own place so as i have mentioned the employer should be filling out this form and should be giving this to you and here also um, if you were to be uh, staying in with the whole family of your employer you will uh, they will uh, take here let's say yes and if the employee and if the employee is going to live in give detailed description of the accommodation so either you will be provided with a bedroom and how many bedrooms are in the house and is the bedroom furnished if yes what list what is provided for example your bedroom has your own tv your own phone or whatever there is and if it's um if the door will be locked or unlocked 
if you'll be provided with a key so everything will should be indicated here and yeah so because you need to have your own privacy you need to have when you will be provided with your room and let's say you will have your private entrance into the house there so everything should be here so this serves as a contract as well um, apart from uh, an offer of employment this serve as a contract as well and you will also they will also indicate here how how long will you work with the with the uh, employer so I will do a separate video of this because this is quite long and so that I can properly discuss to you about this all of this and as I have mentioned I'm still working on the step-by-step -step process application process um, of a caregiver applying outside Canada so I'm still working on, on it doing some research because everything is new now and if you compare this to the old contract it's almost the same so let me show you the old contract this but it's this one's different in format and the format this one is different in, with the format yeah but it's almost the same the content is almost the same because um, you have to put they have to put the employer's name your employee name place of work yeah so it's almost the same the content is almost the same it's just that this is named as the contract and while this one is um, the offer of employment and contract all in one so yeah that's it for today thank you for listening to my discussion thank you for staying with me until the end of my vlog and i really do appreciate it I hope to see you again on my next vlog. I'm still working on the step-by-step -step application as a caregiver from Philippines to Canada. I have to review because it is uh, different from the time I applied going here as a live-in caregiver pro uh, as a live-in caregiver because there are a lot of changes nowadays. So anyway. Thank you, have a good day and stay safe, stay healthy. See you next time.